Tony Longo has had many roles in his 28 plus years as a working character actor. His work includes over 80 films and more than 500 TV episodes. Tony has just finished one of the leads in Jake's Corner with Richard Tyson and Diane Ladd. He has also completed Home Shopping with Da Mob, a comedy pilot and season one of a series of short episodes for cable, Cosway Family. And Tony, <laughs> Great to see you. Oh, how you doing, man? I'm here in Marina Del Rey, California, my home. I'm originally from New York. Well, actually from Jersey City, New Jersey. Came out here like uh, 28 years ago, started acting. And uh, the bottom line is 28 years later, man, I'm a character actor. I love what I do. I do. I've done like 80 movies. And, and I think the key is you got to love what you do. And I love what I do. I was just complimenting Michael on a, I noticed his accent. I thought he's from New York, too, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm New, Jer New Jersey. New Jersey. That's like, yeah. I don't miss that accent. You can't, you can't put one over on me. So why acting? Why acting? I don't know. What else was I going to do? I don't know. I think I, I fell into it, and it's like, it's just something. I, I, I came out here on, a, on, a, on a, just a, a thing in the dark, and I tried it. You know, I packed up from New Jersey, came out. And back then, the times were different. Like, it was, you know, yeah, you went on all these auditions. I paid my dues. I went out. One of the first jobs I got, I was on Alice. Mel's Diner, I was Artie the Cop. Then I did uh, Splash, the movie Splash, 16 Candles. I was rocking 16 Candles 26 years ago, man. That's how, how much time flies. You blink and it goes by. And then what else I do? Feds. And then I did uh, First and Ten with OJ for like seven years on HBO, which people still recognize me from. And um, that's it. Now I just keep, you know, I work all the time. I've got a great movie coming out called Jake's Corner. All right, an independent. That's what's going on now. Is I've been working for so long. Everything I have, I own. I got a place back east, a place here. I love, I love LA. I mean, how can you not love this? But in Jersey now, I live in Belmont, New Jersey, which is the shore there. So I go from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, and I'm, I'm, I'm and and right now I just, I, I work when I want to work, and I'm, I'm finally now, I, I have like Jake's Corner coming out. I have another independent film coming out called The Fall of Night. That's a horror movie. That's different for me, where I play a really, really bad guy. And it's but but they're both independents. But times have changed. In the old days, you'd go up for a job, you made a heck of a lot of money, and now it's like you just work when you're you know when you you take a job if it's a good if it's a good role and it's this. But you you know basically I work when I'm six foot six, 395 pounds on a Friday. You got a problem with that? You better not. All right, that's a generous 395. Ma! All right, my mother yells at me when she thinks I'm lying. Ma, don't hit me. I was only touching my zipper this time. You've had a great career, so how's this led to the great role of Tony Deterred in The Mob? Home shopping with The Mob. You's got a problem with that? Wait times are changing now. Mm. I said, I'm sick and tired of working for other people. So I figured, let me go out and make my own thing. And I came up with the concept with home shopping, which is home shopping. There's like a million sales a day. And I says, what's a great concept? The Mob. So we're, it's, it's me and it's uh, Frankie Cassavetes, who's Nick Cassavetes' brother. And we're, we're both out of work mob guys who now go on home shopping and we sell like baseball bats and cinder blocks and like uh fishing line but that but we don't exactly say what they're for you know what i mean like we have a rug that that we're not going to say you can accidentally put someone in and use your shovel you know in the backyard to dispose of the rug that someone might accidentally have fallen into before you dispose of it but anyway we go on home shopping and we sell all this and it's tony the turd and then he's buddy the blister and with two like misfits who live together, but it's a great concept. And we came up with it ourselves. And I went out, and over the course of a year, we shot this. We shot it. We started shooting it in small, like little shorts, like short episodes. And then in the end, we took all of them. We put them together. We made a 22-minute pilot. Right now, NBC has it. TNT has it, and CBS. And they have NBC has first right of refusal. So we're going to go, you know, we're going to click them off. Hopefully, I believe by just the premise in this, someone's going to buy this. But it's something we did on our own. We came up with. And Tony the Turd is like, it's a guy. He's, he's hysterical. He's he's like every uncle. Everybody has a Tony the Turd uncle. Like, he's Tony the Turd. Hey, baby, what are you, what are you, you talking to me? You got a problem with that? Hey. <laughs> Tony the Turd's communication skills are outstanding. So can Tony the Turd give us some advice in communicating with Say your customers with the public. Speak clearly. <laughs> Look the person in the eye. Um, and make an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> no problem there. <laughs> Thank you. So you're very convincing. Wow. You love this area though. You oh, love this area is you, great. you love Venice. Yeah. Oh, we shoot down here, but, but, but we're Venice. always we're just one step ahead of the the officers of the law. 
Now back to acting. Christ, do I have to do this whole interview myself? <laughs> Just chime in whenever you want, Michael. No, sir. Okay, yes, sir. all right. But anyway, with the acting, I, I got a 15-year-old daughter and I got a three-year-old. And my 15-year-old goes, Dad, you're great. And I go, oh, thanks, thanks. And she goes, at being big and dumb, big and bad, or big, bad, and dumb. And I'm like, is that complimentary? She goes, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay. Now, this is a business interview. You're in business, because you are in business. Yes. Another story with the mob. Yes. If you're in business, though, and somebody says, I don't want to do business with you, how do you get that sale? Hey, up here, up here, look at me. Look at me when I'm talking. Hey, look at me when I'm talking. <laughs> Clearly, you joke. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to do business with me. They would have to be stupid. Exactly. Or dumb. So if somebody wants to find out more about Tony Longo, how do they do that? Oh, they can look me up, TonyLongo.net. TonyLongo.net, we got sample episodes, we got that. We're just starting with this stuff, so you can follow us going through it. Another thing I'm doing, like two years ago, and I just happened to have these in my pocket. Not that I was doing an interview or anything, but I lost like 200 pounds. Now I'm going to lose 200 pounds on film, and you guys can follow it. So it'll be like, you know, it's just the beginning here. So this is a nice beginning of a relationship. I just hope that you doesn't do nothing wrong that would cause this to come to an unforeseen ending. And in one word only, well, as many as you like, but how would you describe Tony Longo? Mm. Turd. Tony Longo or Tony the Turd? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Welcome. And, uh... Stay with us, man. See where we go. It's, it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a long journey, but it's going to be a well, a well journey. So j journey, journey with us. Well. And, uh, and now here's my big thing. Anybody out there that wants to lose the weight with me, stop being embarrassed of who you were and start being proud of who you're going to become. Boy, if that ain't a word of wisdom. Hey, write that down for me before I get it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you so much. Hello to everybody out there. Follow us. This is great. Venice, California, ladies and gentlemen. Marina Del Rey's over there. Santa Monica's that way. And the ocean's that way. You and me got a date, mister. That's scary. Thank you.